marriage is a, a leap of faith that begins with I do. It is sustained with an I will. It is the I will that keeps the commitment alive. Commitment is doing what you said you would do long after the feeling that you set it in is gone. There's a lot of feeling today. There's a lot of emotion today. There's a lot of awesome stuff today. But you're making a commitment beyond the emotion, beyond the day. You're making a commitment for the rest of your life. The two of you know what it means to be connected to and committed to Christ. And the two of you are now connecting with one another in a way that is powerful, that is miraculous, I, I believe, anyway, that he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. You two are being joined together to become one spirit together. And it is in the vows that you share with each other that that commitment begins to be lived out and birthed. And so the two of you have selected vows. I knew she was a one for me on our first date. Um, we went to Grizzlies for supper. And then after that, we wanted to go bowling. Um, but that night, she was just wearing her flats and she had no socks. So Steph and I went to Dollar Tree and picked up a pair of socks. I think it was a three pack for a dollar, and they were the ugliest looking socks. But I knew right there, you were the one for me. Just your character and just the way you interacted that night um, brought new life to me. I knew Andrew was the one when, um, pretty much on our first date. Um, actually, probably before our first date, but I finally believed it on our first date. Um, yeah, when we were just walking and how polite he was to everybody around him. It was like, yeah, I, I like this guy a lot. And um, I think shortly after that, I told my sister, I'm 90% sure that I'm going to marry him. Um, I just need him to ask first. The biggest thing that Steph has done for me to improve upon me is uh, she's an encourager. Um, when I have concerns or issues, she always brings me up and she always uplifts me through her positivity and just through her mannerisms. Andrew, um, Andrew brings a sense of security and gosh, calmness to my otherwise crazy life. Steph, I just want to thank you for saying yes um, back on December 31st. I'm so excited to start this new chapter with you, and I can't wait for today to be completed as we become one together. to be your wife and honored that you chose me. What I've really appreciated about the two of you and watching the two of you really is that um, while a lot of people around you as you started to date and you were engaged, a lot, of were like, a lot of people were like, yep, yep, we saw that coming. What I appreciated about you guys is that you took the time to discover what I think you kind of already knew deep down on the inside, but you, you prayed it out, you walked it out, and now you're ready to live it out for as long as you both shall live. The rest of your life starts today with some very simple words. It starts with the words, I do. I've always said that marriage is a leap of faith that begins with the words I do. And, and part of it is because you're making a commitment to each other to step into a lot of unknowns. There's no way that you can know what's going to happen, what's going to pop up over the next forever. But here you are. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Get our marriage to be Christ centered. With God's help, I promise to honor you as my wife. I will provide for you, pray for you, and prefer you before myself. I vow to fight for unity, and from this moment forward, we will be one. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you one together, and you may kiss your bride. <laughs>
have fun. That's, that's, that's the main thing. Have fun. Even when times are rough, look for the good times in the bad. Go to bed at the same time every night for as long as you can. Always talk, always communicate, just be friends. Hey, enjoy life, have fun, and like they said, keep traveling. Enjoy it, all right? Yeah, she is always right. And now, Andrew, you get to be the one, or Steph, you get to be the one to steal the cups at restaurants for Andrew, because I always had to do it. So you get to steal the fancy cups. Oh, no. yeah.